Welcome back everyone, MTG Joe here, and uh, fans are live, we're going to be testing out a bunch of brews today, uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so this is a Teamer Red Blue Green, pretty much a blue green with a splash of red, uh, Elemental Ramp Deck, um, so this is a request of one of uh, followers on Twitch, Master Chief, uh, he was playing uh, the, a version of this pre-bands. Um, so this is kind of my take on the deck. Uh, really, I just wanted an excuse to cast Genesis Ultimatum. I really like this card. Um, so this is kind of the shell that I put together. Um, so it's got your elemental sub-theme of Risen Reef, Omnath, uh, Cavalier of Thorns to kind of put you ahead on lands. You also have Leaf Kindred. Uh, Paradise Druid is in here for ramp. You have Nisa that doubles mana. Uro that puts lands into play. So basically, you want to dump a bunch of mana into the deck. This is also going to be a good shell probably to try out Ugin in uh, once that comes into M21. Uh, you also have Growth Spiral for ramp. Uh, the payoffs for the ramp is obviously Genesis Ultimatum. You can put five things into play. Uh, Finale of Devastation. Uh, when I was testing this, I was able to cast an Enraise Forerunner and Finale for 35 in the same turn. Um, I actually drew up my deck out of 80 cards in that game. Um, got Hydroid Crisis. I'm trying out one uh, Iluna as well as just another way to put uh, permanence into play. Uh, pretty much the entirety of our deck is permanence other than the uh, Finale and Genesis Ultimatum. This might be better served as just like another Finale or something, but I wanted to test it out. Uh, mana base wise, so this is an 80 card Yorian deck. Important to remember with companions now, you have to pay 3 mana at sorcery speed to be able to put it into your hand from the sideboard, so it's not always available. Um, but it, with this type of deck, I want more lands, I want more cards, it's very easy to draw out the deck, so this works out pretty well. 36 lands in the deck, um, 4 Fabled Passage, really nothing too exciting, a couple castles as well, lets you feed extra mana into like Krasis or get out and raise earlier. Uh, sideboard, to be honest, my testing has all been best of one, just to make sure the deck itself is functional. Um, but uh, right now I kind of have like Lava Coil, Flame Sweep Storms, Wrath, this variety of removal, Clothis for life gain, Bronthodon to blow up uh, enchantments or artifacts. Actually, what I wanted to do was make this Cinder Vines. Um, yeah, play two Cinder Vines instead. Um, Mystical Disputes versus Control, Shifting Ceratops versus counter base decks. Usually these decks are a little bit rough against counter spells, um, but overall I just want to try it out. I think we are still Diamond, Diamond Tier 3. I haven't been playing too much, been playing Jund Oven. Uh, kind of been liking that deck offline, but let's fire it up, see how it goes. So as this loads up, as always, if you do enjoy the content, uh, if you can, if you're catching this on YouTube, if you could drop a sub, or if you're catching this on Twitch, if you can drop a follow, both are free and easy ways to help support the channel. Um, and we'll go from there. I'm trying to get to 500 followers on Twitch. It's a little bit lagging, but I think we just hit 400 the other day. Uh, this sounds good. It does exactly what we want early, get us ahead on lines. We don't have a payoff yet, but Uro in itself is a payoff. So a new standard, what have you been playing? Let me know in the chat or the comments on YouTube. I haven't found a deck that's my, like that I love just yet, but like there's the Esper Doom deck, that was fun. Okay, so we're playing against Clover. Genesis Ultimatum's a nice like um, get a head card. So let's do this, play Uro, and then we can Growth Spiral as well. And then potentially I can turn for Genesis Ultimatum. Opponents got the best two drop they can have in their deck. gonna do this now okay so really want untapped land here of note we do need a additional blue or green 
Okay, so I can Arrow here, try to find another land, and then I can Risen Reef. Okay, got Nisa. This card this deck does draw a lot of cards. This might be uh, a stomp. Oh, yeah. So probably better stomp on this as opposed to um, Nisa tokens next turn. That's perfect. So next turn we're Genesis Ultimatum. -ing. This will be a matchup of who could ramp harder. They two are at seven lines. But when you get stuff like, like I've hit like Risen Reef, Omnath, Cavalier, you deal a bunch of damage to them. Uh, Luna is also an elemental, so it triggers off that. Not a bad flip. Uh, just have this enter tapped. Usually you want a bit more of a board presence with Enray's Forerunner, but still good value. Like, we're just getting free value off this. So next turn, I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Technically, I could feed into this. So I could Nisa and Genesis Ultimatum. I could also Genesis Ultimatum and Uro, which could be good. So we'll probably Genesis Ultimatum first, see what we get. If they have Fae, they can go get like Disdainful Stroke. Cast Beanstalk. Henge isn't bad, it lets him start refilling. And then second Clover. So I want to make sure... Okay, so I do have enough for Uro after for escape. So I'm going to put the Hydroid Crisis into hand. Opponent's seen enough. Um, so probably want flame sweeps. Cindervine's actually not bad because I can blow up the thing their um, ovens. And I probably I don't think I want lava coil. Flame sweep just clears up the small stuff. Probably don't want disdainful stroke. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Leafkins in this matchup. Really don't want anything that's easily bounced. Actually, probably get rid of Nisa. Nisa's not that good in this matchup. Same with uh, Aluna. Um, one more cut. Tamio's good. This is damage. Probably just a Leafkin. Because Paradise Druid doesn't get bounced onto, which I like. Everything else pretty much has an ETB. And if they bounce the Hydrate Crisis, I don't care about it. Nisa, you risk your lands getting blown up. Sekjaleski, thanks for the follow. How's it going today? Um... Probably keep the line to be honest. Just 
Going to go Paradise Druid into Uro. Into Omnath. Actually, probably Omnath to get rid of the edge wall. No oven or uh, clover yet. Really good. Omnath will also get bigger as we play out. Um, so let's go. So I do this. I go up to five and then six, so I can ultimate him next turn anyways. So let's just take him off edge wall and keeper. This makes uh, future land drops better. This does open paradise druid up to being hit. Taking five this turn, but I'm gaining three. And they have the other edge wall. No attacks. So the nice thing is I can make this bigger now. So I could trade with the Love Struck. I'll probably keep this back because next land makes this bigger than the Love Struck Beast. Next turn will be Uro. Gain some more life. See if they attack in here. Like bouncing, this isn't the best value for them either. Flame sweep's great. So no attacks here. Like this, I can just uh, flame sweep their board. And then if we draw a land, I'm still short from uh, getting this back. But I could choose to just play out Omnath, have it die, worst case. This is a cast trigger, so if they do play out something, we need to be mindful. So this could be Disdainful Stroke. Not gonna give him the option to attack here. Okay, that does set me up for the following turn. Do I want Cinder Vines? Probably not. How many cards in the graveyard? Four. Think we just bring this to hand this turn. Or I could just play this out and then get this into the graveyard, but then I'm still short for Uro, so let's just bring this to hand this turn. Uh, eighth line, we start drawing cards. Kind of annoying because now they can hit us in and that resets our ability to deal damage probably play out fey hold up the stainful stroke if they get greedy which like realistically they shouldn't Uh, 
Um, this will bait out the stroke. It's my guess. The good thing is these Uros have bought us enough of a buffer from a life total perspective. Really wish we had one more land. But next turn, as long as they don't have the disruption, I could Genesis Ultimatum and hopefully find enough to stabilize our board. This is going to be annoying though. Kind of wish I kept the uh, Cinder Vines now. And then this opens this up to attack. Well, let's spin to win. That was awful. So this is probably just on defense this turn. I need like Hydroid Crisis to kind of catch up here. So the one good thing about Paradise Druid is they can't, like if they bounce with Brazen Borrower, it gets fizzled. So they may not cast the Brazen Borrower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can Genesis and Omnath next turn. Hopefully get enough blockers in play. Even like another flame sweep would be pretty good here. It stops these love strucks from being able to attack in. forced into attacking like this or blocking six so this leaves us dead to bone crusher which they've cast two already yeah i think we take our chances Don't want Omnath. So I have two mana here, three, four, five, six, seven, technically. I can also Yorian here. I can Omnath. an Uro. Hmm. I think we do need to take this off the table. I mean, if we survive this turn, we're probably doing okay. Um, here. Let's just put this on Omnath. I can Risen Reef. Which 
is probably the best. Uro gains us three life. Risen Reef gets us a bunch of triggers. Um, split these up. No attackers. Discard two cards. So let's get rid of Growth Spiral. Growth Spiral. Arrows from the hand just gain us life. Oh, no. So we took a chance there. They had the Bone Crusher. This would have kept us alive. Um... I think we run it back. They had the timely. They drew three bone crushers in the top like third of their deck. That all got doubled up, so the damage was there. We still got like 20 lands into play. Um, ah, let's try this. Not crazy about it, to be honest, because this flame sweeps kind of counteractive to our Paradise Druid. But something like an Uro or a Growth Spiral really opens his hand up. Yeah, like if, if we dodge exactly bone crusher that turn then we're pretty much going to town okay crisis is a nice bridge card okay they have the clover so i can crisis for two here but it's not the best value Do this this turn, be mana efficient. Because next turn I can fetch Krasis for three. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn I'm at six, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. draw a card here. Finale's not bad. It lets me get Uro. So I can play a land. Yeah. If I went three, it made this so it couldn't get hit, but then it makes this Paradise Druid weaker. I think it's really just us setting up to get this uh, ultimatum down. Focus for two here. Probably just get forest. library, get an Uro. Sweet. So I may block with Paradise Druid this turn. Okay, Beanstalk, get some lions. I think we block this turn. That way I can shock in, cast Genesis Ultimatum, and then hopefully follow it up with Flame Sweep. 
If they have Aether Gust, then I'm punished here. This is a rip and a half. Oh. Five, six trumps this. They could have like Brazen Borrower or something, but. Don't want you. Um, play this and to play tap this turn because next turn I can fetch without taking damage. Uh, question here is, could I actually win with finale? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can go get the other end raise four runner. Or I can just get another Genesis Ultimatum. Let's get the finale. Okay. No tail should be discarded. So it's fine. Tamiya goes down. They have a bounce here. They could get through some damage, but probably in a pretty good spot overall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because this is Fae. This can just be Fae Disdainful Stroke, which is fine, because I'm going to get Uro, and they have Negate. Like, our backup plan is still pretty solid. So let's scry here. I'm going to keep Cinder Vines on top. So I can actually cycle this and get Cinder Vines. So this forces them to use this negate, otherwise I blow this up. And then next turn, uh, pretty much going to the races, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I can play both of these, so I can get Clothis back and then play Enray's Forerunner. Just fetch now. Oh, child. Child, you've made a mistake. They're done. We had like a bunch of lands there. Overall, really sweet. All right, let me just give Arena a quick reset and we'll fire up another one. What do you think of the new spoilers so far? What's your favorite card? Teamer ramp. Let's fire this up again. The fact that we could chain like a seven drop into an eight drop in the same turn, even without Nisa, it's 
pretty wild. So Jengatha is knights, uh, most likely. This is one of Kroki's lists. So pretty much any... We're going to go turn 2, Grow Spiral, turn 3, Omnath, ideally turn 4, uh, Cavalier. Oh, Cat Oven. I don't want the A drop. Yeah, Ugin's also like really sweet. Like imagine hitting Ugin off Genesis Ultimatum in this deck. Like we may want to cut some of the elementals because they'll get exiled. Sweet. Um I think we're okay for Lions Beyond this. So they can go two drop here and then sack two things to kill the Omnath. Okay, so they have two. They can get rid of Omnath here if they want. The nice thing is Cavalier can get something back after and dig us into like a Genesis Ultimatum. We're also at 10 life. So we need to be mindful there. And I do need to shock here. Which is a little unfortunate. Definitely want to hit... Okay, so if this dies then I could put Hydrate Crisis on top. Can gain me two life at least. Usually these decks are weaker against these like more aggro focused. Wow, they just went Jengatha in hand. Oh, that's good. So scrying first, so that way. So this makes it so I don't get hit by the sacrifice, and then we go Genesis Ultimatum, play out the Leafkin, just gonna hold back this turn, they could do something like claim here, so... Okay, Jengatha. Let's see if they mistakenly sack and not realize. Do it. Do it. So they do do some damage to us, but I don't think that's what they intended. got finale to hit him after so I'm gonna fetch first and then we're gonna name another Genesis ultimatum uh, I don't have green mana so I should have got a I could have got Uro back this turn. So do this. Do this. Uh, it doesn't make much difference. So let's just do X2 here. Actually haven't hit a land drop for turn either. Uh, 
Uh, let's get a forest here. Next turn, I'm just gonna finale, and then we win. We got a ton of mana, so I can get the end rays in the graveyard, and then beat them that way. Okay, that's five damage that they can do. So two, three, four, actually four damage. So they're trying to chip at us, but I don't think it's enough. So how much mana we got? Twenty. So X equals eighteen. From our graveyard. Think that might be lethal? Ah, too short of a hundred. This deck's so sweet. Um, so in this matchup, Clothis is good. Lava coils and flame sweeps. Um, you seem particularly bad. You give Trample anyways, so I'll probably cut the End Rays Forerunner. Three cards to cut. Um, these small things are fine because they block Omnath's damage. Maybe trim a Nisa and just get the boar out. Probably Genesis. Genesis is like our best payoff though. Probably more so than Finale. We just trim Nisa's all together. Because Nisa's, they can force us to sack our lands. So let's do it like this. Winning game one is pretty good for us. Because now we get to bring in actual removal. The hidden uh, text on Tamiyo usually gets people. The amount of times I've been thought erasured with a Tamiyo up. I wonder if we play, like, Cage probably isn't that good for our deck. Because we play Uros ourselves, as well as, like, Finale and stuff. Um, kind of seems reasonable. So, because like I have Lava Coil on two, Risen Reef on three. If they have a very aggressive start, it could be problematic. So, leading on the Steam Vents, because I have Untapped Forest, that could let me then go into Garen Bridge. So, take no damage off our lands, I think, is important in this matchup. Um. They're missing lands. 
the question is like do I just play tap land and then go yeah because I think priest is more worrisome to deal with so I'd rather have this up for priest if they hit a land and play it this pressure isn't too high yeah so now I go lava coil here or even better Um, so I can do this now, they don't get a card draw, but I can potentially catch something else if I get it to them, like, mid-combat. And then they don't get to use the mana. here I could have waited but then they get the priest on like their end step they might also try to use it as a ramp option very surprised I didn't lead with cat um, I think we just go risen reef here Burrow's decent Uro lets me play both Lava Coil and Uro next turn, and then gets me one line closer. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say easy per se, but it's they can have an aggressive start. Like that game, they did get us to six. So I can do this. Opponent's also kind of stuck on lions here, which isn't helping the case. If they had any other creature other than priest, I would have played the leaf druid to guarantee Genesis ultimatum. Also, our start right now isn't the fastest. So, ideally hit a land here. if we hit a land I could have hydrate crisis okay so they'll get their red source that turn next turn hopefully this is a big one flame sweeps actually a really good draw and then uh, we just named Genesis ultimatum I can escape back Uro and play Nisa next turn. This is a free play as well. And the nice thing is Flame Sweep, our Leafkin still survive. So I can tap this for mana and then do that. They can start getting cat back, and cat can block uh, Uro. Okay. So this is just likely a sack here. So I can time it probably. Okay, so let's start off naming Genesis Ultimatum. It's our best play. So... Let me scry first. Oh, that's actually decent here. Gains me six. Them using a claim is already pretty good for us. 
You know what? I should have um, filtered mana through here. They could bring back the cat. That's fine. Uh, here... I could flame sweep and growth spiral. But I also have a breeding pool, so I can play Nisa out. Yeah, let's do that. I don't even know what turn this is, but we are like way far ahead here. Oh no, 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 I didn't want to attack a Paradise Druid. I wanted to hold it up for flame sweep. Okay, so I can grow spiral on end step. 80 cards, I've already drawn half my deck. So we've drawn almost to the same point as our opponent while playing an extra 20 cards. The one downside, because claim also lets them get two here. I want to keep Nisa alive. Krasis, uh... Will do some work for us. They've used two claims already. Okay, so let's fetch here. So the nice thing is when they bring back these cats, I can um, flame sweep in response. I think you will find my Let's go Genesis. Let me just do this. Gains us some more life. Actually, I should have just escaped the one from the graveyard. I forgot they had killed it. Close this is actually really nice. Um, probably go forest here. I'm going to go full control mode because I want to be able to respond to the cat triggers coming in. So cat comes in. Let's do this. They get to draw two here, but now they have to take six points of damage. So I just want to pressure their life total more. And now I'll be able to cloth this. They do get to trade one of these cats with their lands, though. We're way ahead on mana. So, 
Do this. Do this. And since we have the mana, why did it do that? Oh, why did it tap it like that? I had three mana floating, but it decided to tap my Leafkins to bring this to hand. Stupid auto-tapper. Clothis can start eating away at their graveyard now. Nisa's getting close to ultimate. I do need to be mindful of cards. This you may. No, you have to draw a card. Start going after their cats. I guess I shouldn't have. It opens him up for that. But now I do get to flame sweep their board. So I get to do this. So I'm doing this land because um, they can put a point of damage on it and then kill the land anyways, but this lets me hit them for 10. Um, so I can growth spiral anyways to use the mana. Let's go... Island here. Hit him for a bunch. This is without ultimatum as well. Cavalier here. Uh, how many cards do I have? Twenty nine. Probably just going to do this bounce here just as a blocker. I don't really want to put more cards in my graveyard. This is free. So no ultimata. I think all our ultimatums are actually still in the library. We haven't hit a single one. So I've gone through 51 cards and I still haven't found an ultimatum. Yeah. Opponent's dead four ways. Four or five different ways there. I got big hydrate crisis if need be as well. Alrighty, so I'm going to wrap this one up for the Teamer Ramp deck. Uh, I'm going to uh, cut this up here. I'll be back in about 10-15 minutes uh, and just get set up and we'll be playing another deck. So hopefully see you all shortly. I uh, just want to recite the, reset the client as well. It's being a little particular. But if I don't catch you in the next 10 or so, I appreciate the support and hope to see you uh, 
for future videos. Have a great one, and thanks for stopping by.